Hello and welcome to RG Hobby TV and today we are going to take a look at the Kotobukiya Cross God Hand Kotobuki Nipper also known as PN120 in God Hands product code I bought this nipper at Hobby Kingdom so this is actually a repackaged version of the original Kotobuki Nipper that was released before the Free Mom Girls anime was aired the Free Mom Girls is an anime release on spring 2017 actually it's an anime about from our model kids in girl form battling each other and also the Nichijo daily lives. Maximum recommended plastic diameter to cut, which states here is 3mm. This. So anything more than that, you risk breaking a blade. Now, overview of the nipper features that you can find on the nipper is a single edge design which minimizes the stress mark on the plastic part that you cut it got a flat edge over here which means you can cut as close as possible against your plastic parts you got the uh, maximum open stop over here you got the um, handle stop it stops from overdoing it and break the blade and it's got a soft and easy grip design on this part and actually it grips pretty well now in terms of articulation of this nipper it can do this now for comparison uh, going I'm going to compare this nipper with my current daily drive nipper the Tamiya sharp pointed side cutter this is how it looks from beside noticeably it's thinner than the Tamiya smaller a little bit smaller than the Tamiya the feel are similar considering the Tamiya is now already 3 years old this is just new <coughs> and here I'll show you the, the result that you get from both nippers the top one is the Kotobuki nipper the bottom one is the Tamiya on this part you can see it's pretty similar result remember the bottom one is the Tamiya the top one is the Kotobuki however on this part here I purposely cut this vertically instead of horizontal this part are cut horizontal but this part is cut vertically you can see the result here the Tamiya yeah there's a lot of more there's a lot of more stress mark on the Tamiya compared with the God Hand but to be fair the Tamiya is already 3 years old so yeah stress mark also visible Tamiya is actually a good nipper to be honest but the Kotobuki nipper are just much better considering the price also much expensive top one is Kotobuki bottom one is Tamiya that's all for the comparison and actually um, I've already used the uh, this nipper for some kits that I already built and actually the knobs were nicely cut and you are just two to three times away from filing and you get the near perfect namak removal now on my thoughts about this Kotobuki nipper one thing to know that this is not the God Hand Ultimate Nipper, which is rated at 5 stars. The Kotobuki Nipper is considered as 4 star grade, but nevertheless it still cuts plastic like butter. So if you compare with Tamiya Sharp Pointed Side Cutter, there is less force is required to cut the same diameter of plastic or gate. And it leaves very minimal stress mark if you compare it to this one. But to be fair, uh, this Tamiya Nipper is already 3 years old, so the stress mark is kind of visible, is understandable. Nevertheless, the god hand still feels better. And the feel in the hand is very satisfying. The grip is good. The grip is good. And the feel of cutting the part is very somewhat satisfying and good 
I would not recommend this sniper to beginners. In my opinion, this sniper is more suitable to experienced models as they will appreciate the benefits that this sniper will bring to their work. So it's not something that I can tell you right away in this video, but you really need to feel it, then you understand it, and you appreciate the Kotobuki sniper. That's all for now. Like this video if you like it, dislike if you don't, leave your comments if you have any, and please subscribe for more Gunpla videos. I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.